Sorry for the visual overstimulation here, but this is pretty much how my brain felt when I was unpacking all these boxes. On the right, you can see me moving all 200 kilograms of my previous life in China, where I lived for three years. I recently got it shipped to me in Taiwan after not being able to re-enter China and get it, even now, due to the pandemic. And on the left, you can see some clips from my 30 or so times I spent going in and out of China to North Korea during these three years. Three years worth of stuff. Man. During this time, I collected a lot of random stuff in and around North Korea. So today, we're going to unbox it all. Well, some of it. Hi guys, a bit of a weird one today, but I'm gonna do like an unpacking video. Long story short, I have just received a suitcase full of all of my stuff that has been locked in China for the past two and a half years and one of the suitcases contains my collection of basically like 30 trips to North Korea which I never once sent home back to the UK it's now all arrived in the suitcase and I've forgotten about half of it I'm gonna unpack it with you now I hope this is interesting for you um let's have some fun I might get an emotional so I'm sorry about that um First things first, I want to say um, a big thank you to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you want to become a patron, then uh, have a look on my patrons page. So, let's get into it. So the first things that I'm going to talk about are the visuals that you kind of have on the screen right now. Um, which are, basically, I'm going to talk about these ones first. So, let me get up and show you. This one is video is going to be quite casual, so I'm sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> let me show you. So... This is basically, oh my gosh, I'm really not doing it any justice because I haven't like put it on properly. But basically I wore this, um, I'm probably gonna try and get the picture up. I wore this um, when I went to the mass games and I saw Kim Jong-un in real life for the first time. Um, it was gifted to me by a North Korean and I missed some boots. Yeah, so there's that. And then um, next up we have the second joggery, which is like, not as fancy and oh my god so basically how you wear a joggery is um you have this under bit and then you have this bit where your arms go through and it like basically goes over the top like this and then you tie it up like that okay um and i am not doing it justice because i haven't tied it nicely maybe i'll try and find a nice picture of me to pop over right now um this one is quite cool because this one's really traditional north korean this is a university student dress all of the university students wear this, so it's quite cool. Again, good to me, find more cream. I'm really not doing them much justice <laughs> hanging up there. Um, the next thing that you can see is, I guess you're all wondering about this hat, right? <laughs> this hat I bought um, in Rason in the market. Um, I actually have another one here. Um, uh, I bought this in the market in Rason. Um, is obviously very typical very popular um i'm not sure if i'll wear it this whole video it's quite um it's quite north korean isn't it <laughs> um yeah that's that um and then behind me you can see a north korean football shirt as well those are all the things that you can see right now um and there's going to be a lot of mixture of stuff some of it's going to be really sentimental some of it's going to be really random I'll try and like mix it up a bit as we go through this video. There's a lot, okay? You can't see it, but like, there's a lot of stuff, okay? So let's try and be speedy. Okay, first thing in front of me <laughs> is my microphone. Uh, if you've ever come on tour with me, you'll probably recognize this because I would bring this and sing on the bus. Um, actually, everyone would get really jealous and um, the drivers asked me to bring in another one for a different, um, for um, a driver to have so I also have one still in a box here to take to North Korea because um, the driver basically saw us having too much fun and he got jealous and he was like I want one for my bus and um, so yeah um, I sing on the bus and I make everyone else sing and my rule is that if you're last on the bus in the morning you have to sing so no one's allowed to be late on my tour um, and 
as a little bit of proof of that as well. I have so many copies of um, Pangab Sumida, Pangab Sumida, um, and, uh, and some other songs as well. Uh, for everyone to sing on the bus, I do hand these out and I do expect you to learn it and sing it. Um, oh! Guys, this is historical. So uh, I'm basically like unpacking this in real time as well. Um, I just did a bit of a live stream on TikTok, but I only unpacked like half of it. So I'm just seeing half of this. This is historic stuff, okay? Wait for it. This is the newspaper from when uh, Donald Trump met Kim Jong-un. And they met at Pam and John. I was, fun fact, I was actually on the way to the DMZ, to Pam and John, as this was happening. And I like had it on my phone. I had signal on my phone and I was like live streaming it, showing the North Koreans. They were like, it's really sad actually though, because um, they were super happy to see it happening because for them, it's a lot of hope and it means like reunification is closer, but you know, in the end, nothing happened. So it's quite sad. This is the foreign newspaper. So you've got Kim Jong-un meeting Moon Jae-in. Okay, those are the newspapers. Uh, what should we do next? What should we do next? Okay, let's do a fun random one. This guy, <laughs> he's gonna stick with me now. Um, he's like a Japanese teddy, right? He's a Japanese character. Um, the reason I found him super cool and wanted to buy him is because if anyone's lived in China before or knows the shop Miniso, it's like a chain store that sells like everything you need but didn't know that you needed. It's really useful um, and crazily, there was a Miniso in North Korea. It even had its name at the front, like up on the sign, which is like unheard of because North Korea doesn't have like names of shops and chain stores and stuff like that, especially from like foreigner, foreign companies. Um, but they did and then they took it down, but all of the products remain the same inside. It is literally a Miniso and all the products say Miniso on it. You can see it here. I kept this tag on it for a reason. Can you guys see? Is it focusing? Yeah, and you can see um, that I bought it for 66, um, 660, which is I think 66,001. Yeah, he's cute. Um, anyway, I love the Miniso. Um, there's no pictures allowed in there. I think I have a picture on the outside. I'll have it pop up here if I do. Sorry if I don't. Okay, so that's random teddy bear. Um, we've done microphone. Um, okay. This, I was not permitted to buy the first time I tried to buy it. Foreigners are not allowed to buy them. Um, you can buy them in Quanbox Supermarket and also I got this one from a really random roadside store. Like a random roadside store in the middle of nowhere. Um, we stopped off. It was in the northeast. We stopped off to get some water and um, for a toilet stop, and they sell like random stuff in there, like socks and whatever, sweets, and also these books. Now these are what you do your ideological study in, and that's why they don't sell them to foreigners, um, because they're like special books. Anyway, I've got one. It doesn't have anything in. I need to catch up on my ideological study, apparently. This is a leaflet from the Chang'an Hotel which is where a lot of the um, like Japanese stay. Um, I've been in here a couple of times. I don't really know why I picked up this leaflet, but I did. Here we go. This, I love this. I showed you guys on my Instagram stories if you guys were watching, but I just have to show you again because I love taking like physical diaries and this is quite personal, but like these were all my plans for January and February. Um, for March and April, it only goes up to um, May, but basically all of those writings are telling you that um, I was going to go to North Korea in April for the marathon and then I planned to go on a tour with my dad to North Korea and we were going to have a bit of a private trip as well. Um, yeah, never mind. Oh, okay, this one's really dirty. This is quite cool. It is from the Pyongyang Marathon 2018 which is the year that I actually did run in it, which is why it's probably so dirty. Um, you get a little towel at the end of it. It's quite nice. Uh, April the 8th, 2018. Here we go. <laughs> okay, random again. This is a pumpkin that me and my friend bought at the store. Um, he bought a strawberry and I bought a pumpkin. 
And yes, of course, it came all the way from North Korea to China and then to Taiwan. Honestly, no idea. Um, I found tons of my business cards. Anyone wants one of those? I can send you one. Um, what should we do next? Okay, hat change time. Oh no, I just I touched that dirty towel and then ran my hands through my hair. Hat change time as we go to a new hat. Okay. 20 points for anyone who can guess what this hat is about, okay? It's really niche. You have to be like a big fan or know a lot about North Korea in order to guess what this hat is about. Um, I'll give you a clue. You get 50,000 points if you guess what it's about. Okay, that's all I'm saying for now. Um, so, I found, I found this in my bag and I don't know if you can see it properly or if you can read Korean. Maybe to my Korean fans and friends, you can read this and let me know exactly what's in it because I think that it's honey alcohol and it's really, really rich and thick. I did just open it to have a taste because I was super curious. Um, I think it has um, ginseng in it as well. In the back it says, Keisang Koryo Insam Kwa Song Ak San Kibum San Sokke So blah 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 blah. Anyway, there you go. And um, I did just try a little bit. It tastes like honey alcohol. So that's why I think it is honey alcohol. Um, this girl's pretty cool. Okay, check out this cool cat. Um, this is a Canine Traffic Lady, and uh, she's a bit drunk right now. <laughs> okay, had too much to drink, love. Go home. Um, she's wearing high heels. It's a bit tricky. Um, Canine Traffic Lady. Uh, traffic Lady. You know what she does? Uh, she's one of those cool girls who um, stands and directs traffic. Pyongyang would not function without her. But yeah, she's a bit drunk right now, sorry. Um, okay, these are cool. These are two medals from Canada Marathon. One of them I ran in, 2018, and one of them I just pretended that I ran in and stole a medal, 2019. <laughs> During the 2019 one, I was doing a lot of filming, so, and then I planned to run in the 2020, and no, never mind. This is my little hotel room key card from Masik Ryong, which was the last time that I was there, which is, you know, really sad. I have some more stuff from Masik Ryong, actually. Um, I just saw it before. Oh, I can't find it. I'll find it in a minute. But first, um, okay, this is a bag from Young Actor Hotel. Apparently the, hotel, the only hotel on the island uh, the only hotel in the country that they let you stay in, which is not true. There's tons of hotels. This one's that one on the island, uh, Yangak Island, Yangak Do. Do means island. Uh, there you go. Uh, proof that I ran in the Pyongyang Marathon, 2018. Um, I ran in the 10K, and I do have my results somewhere. Maybe I can show you. This is all my paperwork, boring paperwork stuff. Um, this is a Korean to Japanese. You get some funny sentences in here. If anyone wants this, let me know. Uh, a Korean comic book. I don't know if I'm willing to part with this one. Um, this is a Kim Jong-un book from the Foreign Language Press. So this, you can read that title. And I also have another one. Cool. Wise words. Another um, Korean language book. Um, obviously, it's North Korean style Korean book. Um, very kind of niche. And another one, let's speak in Korean. Um, you get a lot of fun phrases like learning about um, how you call the uh, uh, Party Foundation Museum. There we go. Oh, and also some like proper language books as well. There's actually two in this series and I was planning to like properly study from them until I realized that they're pretty hard to learn from. There's also a piano and guidebook here. Um, I think it's been covered in shampoo and stuff, so it's a bit sticky. But um, yeah, you've got a guidebook of Pyongyang and like all the different places tell you um, all the different areas. It's quite cool. Uh, these, super random. I used to buy these for North Koreans. Um, 
probably the most valuable thing in the box right now. These cost about 50 euros when you buy them in North Korea. They are cigarettes. Uh, this is the info on them. And um, they're quite strong. Um, they're called 77 because that's Victory Day in North Korea, the 27th of 7th. Uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. 27th of July. <laughs> I'm so bad with that. Um, uh, yeah, these are the most expensive cigarettes in North Korea. I got a whole stick of them. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So this is the Mass Games program from 2019. Uh, you can see it here. Okay. Um, and on the back of it, we've got a nice picture of, uh, on the front of it, sorry, picture stand. This is from the Mass Games that's um, the Glorious Country, which I think is not 2019, it's 2018. Sorry for that. Okay, um, here, oh my gosh, here we have basically um, an official photo from every single tour that I've been on. Basically, um, some of the sites that you go to, there's like an official photographer there, um, kind of like when you go to the theme park and they take your photo. Um, so I have a bunch of these pictures, like so many of these pictures actually. Um, oh, this is one of me wearing my joggery that you can see in the back right there. Can you see it? Um, so I'm here. You can see that. And that's my joggery right there. <laughs> um, okay, what else? Oh, that's me wearing that hat that I was just wearing. So random. I haven't looked at these like in years, guys. So I'm super happy to be able to share it with you. This is such a random one of me. Okay, hold on. Some professional photographer um, at the um, mass dancing randomly took a picture of me and then came up and gave it to me at the end of my tour. I look so bad in this photo, but I'm dancing with uh, with an old screen friend, so you know whatever. I'm grateful that he printed it off for me because you know it cost him, and he gave it to me for free, so that's nice. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these photos because they're literally like the same, like basically it's the same. You go and take a picture with the grand statues and then you buy this for like a euro or something. That's it. And I have about 30 of them. I'm going to look through them all personally like after this video because I don't want to bore you guys but maybe we can find some different ones that are interesting. For example, this one at the DMZ. I'm not actually on this one but I've got a couple here from the DMZ. They're quite cool. Um, basically, it means that I can remember all of my tourists as well, which is really nice. Um, so this is also how I remember tourists as well, guys. I'm not gonna like, you know, you guys can stay like nice and private and stuff, but basically I have like pictures and faces and names with all of you and I put it on the top of the bus so everyone else doesn't forget as well. Um, that's how that works. There we go. So this is a fun thing, um, sometimes when you go on tour, you have a cameraman follow you on tour. Now Vice did a lovely documentary on North Korea where I think they snuck into North Korea or something and then they said that there was a camera following them around to follow their every move and record their every move. Now this is not true, the cameraman just follows you around to record your tour so that they can sell you this tour DVD at the end, which is not cheap by the way. They sell it for like 20 or 30 quid, uh, 20 or 30 euro. Um, because I mean, they have literally followed you around for maybe like five or seven or even 14 days. So that pays off their salary. I try and upsell these as much as possible because you know, money goes to the cameraman. Um, I've uploaded a couple of these to YouTube. They're actually encrypted DVDs. So you can't put them onto MP3 without like messing with them a little bit, but um, I'm going to put up my, a few clips from the Korean Marathon one. These are just, I mean, I have no idea when these are from. Oh, I'm so smart. I've written, look, I've written um, the November budget. There's the date. And these are my guides. That is so good. Okay, so I do know when each of these are from. Oh, this is one of my last ones. This is, um, oh, I need to see this one. So this is the New Year's Eve tour um, with um, uh, with my two guides there, and that's the date. So I need to upload that one. That would be so nice. Okay, that's those. 
Um. Oh, this is the Must Games fan. Very nice. In Minunara. So that is from 2019. It means the land of the people. Oh, this one's really sad. This one's a photo. Um, so I used to print out a lot of the photos and give them to the North Koreans. This one's a photo of my first ever um, North Korean guide. Um, I call my North Korean mum, my Korean mum. And um, yeah, I'm also wearing the joggery there that you can see behind me. Yeah. She's lovely. Um, this is my ticket to see um, the math games in Minui Nara, which is Land of the People in Minui Nara. And, um, oh, this is a ticket really cool of seeing a um, North Korean performance in Beijing. So that was quite cool. What else have I got? Okay, this I'm going to talk about super quick is um, not from North Korea, but it's about North Korea. I found this in my suitcase. Um, it is a um, 3D BRK from Matthias. Um, he's a really talented photographer and he did the first ever foreign exhibition in North Korea. He basically takes 3D photos. His thing is really cool, 3D PRK, have a look at it. Um, and you basically get like these cards and stuff and then get glasses. One cool thing that I found is this um, Pyongyang Metro card for the Pyongyang Metro, okay? When you ride it as a foreigner, you usually just use a single use ticket, but I managed to work my charm and get a Pyongyang Metro ticket, which most people don't have. That's that in there. Okay, this is the bag that I use when I'm like walking around North Korea, just like doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, it's a North Korean bag. This is like a new brand of bag. They were kind of new when I went there. Um, you know, it still has all my old stuff in there, like old bits of chewing gum and stuff, pens and this as well. This I use this for my iPod and me and the guys listen to music together. <sighs> okay, what else? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. I'm going to try to be quick. Um, hey, oh, this is fun. This is Matthias. Um, I went to Rasan with him in the Northeast. Um, he's the guy who did 3D PRK. Do go and check him out. Very talented photographer. We went to Rasan together. Um, oh, this is a big clue to what this hat means, which I'm going to tell you at the end, but well, I may as well tell you now. This is what the hat means, okay? This is my good colleague, uh, good friend and colleague, Greg. Okay, that's Greg, that's me, and this is on our on New Year's tour. You can see the date down here. Now, can you see where this star is from? So this star is from the bus, and it basically means, I don't know how well you can see it, I'll probably like, I might put it up properly so you can see the picture. Anyway, this basically means it has a five and then also has a man. A man means 10,000 in Korean, um, and so it's every 10,000, every 5,000, sorry, every 50,000 V that this bus or tram has driven, it gets a star, okay? Now V is not kilometers, it's not miles, it's like an old Korean Chinese measurement. Um, I can't remember the measurement for it right now, I'll try and have it written down here. But basically, this one has gone a long way. Um, every 50,000 V that it's traveled without an accident, it gets a star. That's what this hat is for. <sighs> this is one of the last times I was in North Korea. These are my two big sisters. Miss them a lot. Um, this was definitely one of the last times I was in North Korea. My skiing pictures. I love it. There's Mr. Lee. He's quite famous on social media now. And there's me, like, coming down the mountain. Yay! <laughs> Such a poser. Um, if anyone can restore pictures, that would be amazing because I have some pictures I need to restore. So if you can do that, let me know because I have this really cool picture of me um, basically finishing the 10K in the Piano Marathon. As you can see, it's completely faded from sun damage. I don't really know what to do. It's such a shame. This is quite a cool picture. Um, oh, and this is my proof that I did take part in the Piano Marathon. There's my time. I didn't train at all. 10K, one hour, three. Not bad. Not bad. And these are also from like North Korea. They're basically, um, you know, little foreign language publications. And another one. Okay, we're nearly done, guys. Nearly done. <sighs> oh, so I haven't looked through here at all. This is literally, oh, 
So I have a tour bag. If you've been on tour with me, you've seen this bag. I haven't looked in it at all. It's got so much old rubbish in here, uh, but also some fun things. This is the customs declaration form that you have to fill in on arrival in North Korea. Um, this is when you enter North Korea, you have to fill in this card. Um, when you depart China, you have to fill in this card. So I have all of these prepared so that I can help everyone else to do it. So that's, that's that in there. What else do I have in my North Korea bag? Um, I have like, you know, golden rules of DPRK travel, that kind of stuff. What else? Oh, I have a... I have a guy... What, what is this? Oh, I have a map. That's pretty cool. Um, and I have a um, one of the new guidebooks that came out. Now this one was super new, I think in 2018 or 2019, maybe even 2020. Um, this one came out super new. It's super nice, actually. It's really like quite a nice publication. Um, I'm gonna keep that one for myself. No one can have that. Sorry. This one is a map of Korea, which if I'm not mistaken, will have the full peninsula in it because you do not find any maps in Korea, in North Korea, that is just the North of Korea. It's always the full peninsula. Yep, there we go. So that's, oh no, now I'm gonna have to fold that back up. Anyway, that is the tourist map of North Korea. I'm gonna find somewhere nice to put that up. Oh dear Lord. Okay, okay, I folded it. I folded it to some extent, whatever. Um, okay, so that's pretty much everything in my box of cheap stuff. What else do I have in here? Oh, I have so much memorabilia in here. <gasps> Ooh, and so much money. Oh, this is all, I'm so sentimental. I keep like tickets and everything. I don't know if I'm ready to go for all of this. Oh my gosh. Lots of Korean money. 5,001. Another 5,001. I've got a load of Korean money. Um, these are like the exit and entry cards. I think I entered from Russia, which is quite cool on that one. Um, this is a train that I used to live on, the Beijing Dandong train. Um, and then the Dandong to North Korea train man, I used to live on there. This one's a postcard and actually um, I was gifted this uh, from a tourist saying thank you for being an amazing tour guide. So thank you very much for that. Have not forgotten, have not forgotten. And this is the um, train to North Korea. This one is the, oh, sorry, I just saw a little note. Um, this one is from the marathon, like my past. This is really lovely. Um, oh, I remembered what it is. I asked, so basically I had the, um, I really wanted to get a, a full collection of all of the North Korean nodes and I'm gonna hide his name, but I told one of the guides about this and he gave this to me and said, where there's a will, there's a way. Jiao in Chinese, it means like, keep going, good luck. And then inside here, he gave me this really, really rare note. Yeah. So nice. I'm gonna have to read up on the history of that note because I think I remember him saying to me like it wasn't quite published. Um, anyway, let's see. This is my flight tickets to Pyongyang. Um, oh, I love this. This is when I was in the Northeast and I got an internal flight and they literally hand wrote my boarding pass. Oh, I love it. Um, International Film Festival schedule. Another mass games ticket. I'm gonna go through these really quickly. This is an air cargo ticket that they didn't even fill in. They just gave up by the end of it. Oh, this is another node. Oh, I've seen these before though, the 10. Um, what else have we got? Oh, this is a head teacher from the school and she has to have a photo with me. It's a really nice picture. That's a children's day. Dun, 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 what else have we got? Okay, you know what? It's just pretty much all the same stuff. And then at the end, randomly, we've got 
some random bits of Bhutanese money. There we go, because I went to Bhutan. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it really is a trip down memory lane. That is all of my, like, memory stuff as well. Like, that's all really important to me. I'm really glad I got all that back. Okay, we're almost there, guys, almost there. Uh, okay, there's one more. Oh, this is another Korean book. Oh, and this shows um, a really, really interesting um, difference to the North Korean language. Just here, I've just found um, one. So in South Korean, you say um, to go to the toilet. And this one is North Korea. It's which um, I guess sounds kind of like hygiene room and stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna try and go quicker. That's that stuff. What else? Oh yeah, okay. Two more really cool things. Um, I found tons of propaganda posters and they're all in this, but I'm not gonna get them out. Maybe I'll show you another day. Uh, two more things. I'm gonna save like the really cute one till last. Um, North Korean face and like body products. It's basically um, North Korean made um, beauty products. This one's um, from Kaesong. Um, it's got Koryo Insam, Insam meaning ginseng. And then these two here, they're like from Pyongyang. Um, and this one, I can't remember where this one's from. I think this one, it doesn't say on it. I can't remember where it is, but this one's also ginseng. Okay, and last but not least, <laughs> This was, it's, unfortunately, it's a bit damaged, guys. This was almost not saved um, from my house in Beijing, but luckily my friend went back to get it. I don't know how much of my backstory that you know, but basically just before I, um, basically in 2019 in November, I moved to my first place for the first time. It was the first time I'd like lived by myself. I was in a like a cute little hutong house, which is a really traditional um, small bedstick kind of thing. You know, it had like, it's one of those, anyway, it's really cute. And it was the, my own place for the first time. And the North Koreans, like I was keeping them updated with my journey, you know, trying to find a house, trying to find somewhere to live. Um, and they were really involved with it because I was going back and forth like pretty much once every few weeks once I finally found a place um one of my North Korean guides basically gave me this as like a housewarming gift which is just really nice and um, you can't see but it's kind of like 3d and this is actually um like um, made with bits of leaves and grains and stuff like that um and then painted on the background as well for like the 3d effect um it's like a bit smashed up but thankfully the glass didn't smash um, so I'm so happy to have this. It was just a really thoughtful gift and like I just feel so sorry for them that I'm not in this house. I feel like I can let them down. Yeah. Anyway, guys, hey, that's pretty much it. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. It's literally taking me over half an hour to film it all. Thanks for sticking along with the journey. Um, if you want to know any more about any of the products, let me know. Um, and I'll probably do like more detailed stuff on Instagram on like specific things if you want it. So like put it in the comments below. And um, otherwise, I want to say thanks. Thanks for joining me for this whole time. It was a bit of a different video, but thanks so much. And um, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.